Hello everybody and welcome back to day 9 of the 30 day Animal Crossing Make it an Island Hard Mode Challenge Edition. I was just playing some Animal Crossing and I wasn't going to film until a little bit later on but I saw this and I'm not entirely too sure what it could be. It could be totally not him leaving. It doesn't look like it but it's totally not. I just started recording for no reason. <laughs> I, I saw a thought bubble, I panicked. Pappy is probably one of the villagers that I've said a few times I do not want him to leave. But that's okay, I can I can deliver your snacks. I'll save snack time, don't you worry about a single thing, Pappy. So today I have just been doing all of my daily Nook Mile things and just like my daily routine. I really wanna go and finish paying off Katrina's little area and I just need to catch a particular fish for the rest of the challenges to be done for today. And then stretch, which we can do together. But that's pretty much all I was doing. I just wanted to get on. I was doing a little bit more of like some grinding offline. Just making sure that we have everything. Also, of course, this is being remodeled and renovated. And so I'm just placing all of the different bugs that we just found today. So let's go and save snack time, I guess. Uh, Cleo's house is up here, I'm pretty sure. For today, I really want to do some more decorating and getting some stuff done. I'm struggling a little bit with time and ideas for par things. So I just want to try and get some base stuff done. I would really like to maybe do a bit of terraforming for an entryway, but we're gonna see. I sort of have this nice idea of like, oh hey, oh I've not been in your house before, Huck. Yo, this is nice. Um, but I sort of have a little bit of a like waterfall idea for a entryway, but I kind of need to think a little bit more about it because of the two houses there and I don't want to move them. I love how like symmetrical they are. And I really need to go through and redo all of my dirt paths. There's just a lot that I need to do, but I like, I feel like I need to get it done today or it's just not going to get it done in time at all. But also if we don't finish the island, we don't finish the island. This is 30 days. It's not a very long time and you know, playing for about three, four hours a day in a sense. There's only so much that we can't get done, especially with all of our daily stuff to worry about and to do. But I'm pretty impressed and pretty pleased with the progress that we've made so far. And yeah, as I said, I'd like to do some just like general cleanup as well on the island. I've went and watered my flowers. We've had no new flowers just yet. Yeah, I think I think just general cleanup and getting materials, DIYs, all that sort of stuff. I wouldn't mind doing another islands today. Capon Island, that's what I'm looking for. I'd love to do another Capon Islands today to see if we can get some crops. And we've also got Labelle here. Labelle label? Labelle, I'm pretty sure. So we've got to go do her mission. I never do her mission, so it'll be fun to do. I like that I get something even though I was not part of this at all. I'm just being the owl, like that's totally fine. We also did some diving for sea creatures and I did get my first scallop so I did say hi to little Pascal he's super super cute it's nice that we're sort of re-getting our like nook miles up I'm kind of hoping that someone wants to leave soon because I'd love to do some hunting I just I think it'll be cool to try and find someone in particular but I think it's just going to be another chill day I'm hoping to get a lot of decorating stuff done like even just walking past this part of my island today, I was just so happy. I also didn't realize I could so do some stuff for the campsite. What am I doing? I'm silly. I'm silly. I'm sitting here like there's nothing I can do to decorate. But I've been, as I said, really loving how like this has turned out and I know it's going to look so much better with some paths and some other things, maybe a flower or two. I have yet to check my turnip prices for the day. I believe it's still like 8, 9 a.m. ish. But then I'm pretty much just going to keep going on about my day of, of all my daily tasks and daily habits. I did buy that coffee machine and a couple of those teacups. I think they would look so perfect for the little cafe area I've got planned upstairs. So let's see what our turnip prices are. 51 bells. Okay, so they've gone down a little bit. And then we'll check them again a little bit later on. But yeah, let me do... I think I think today's a big cleanup day. And I know that that's not super entertaining content. But I really want to pick up all of these weeds and get rid of them. I'm loving the vines. So I do want to go to another cap and island. And hopefully we can get some more vines. And we did grow another gyroid. So let's go have a look and see what one it is. Because I have yet to do that. I feel like i got to go and cut down all of the trees. I have also additionally... Sorry so many things at once also additionally finally run out of space for my house so I think getting that paid off would be awesome we got a what a boing a boyoingoid I'm obsessed <laughs> he looks so silly he looks so silly so I'm gonna go and keep on with the decorating 
Okay, I'm running into a little bit of a dilemma here. So my inventory, as we've already stated, is quite full. I've also got a bunch of materials, so I figured I would clear up a little bit. But additionally, I think I'm going to try and do this campsite area. I really want to close off this back end and have like a, a waterfall sort of vibe to it. But I also would like a sneaky, sneaky hidden way to get to the secret forest. Well, secret forest? That's not a forest, Kizu. There's a secret beach over here but I'm also like we might just vine it up like that might just be the vibes I feel like that's what we've got to do so let's let's make a plan of attack so I'm going to pick up all of the weeds I might get some fruit so I can keep hold of these trees that's what I'm gonna do we, we don't need to get rid of them I customized some log furniture as well but I can't be relying on friggin pass anymore anyone who's made pass will probably understand how difficult it can be to make a path right now I know what I need to do to fix the path but I'm just not in the right headspace for the path I want to decorate so we are definitely hopefully going to get at least the base of some areas done so let's quickly it's time to eat some of these fruits I also just realized but I could totally totally drink my little juice smoothie thing I've got I do also want to do a cap and island and literally the last thing that I have to do before we like consider time traveling in a way is I want to go cap and island I have to do stretching and we have to go and finish paying off Katrina's thing because I'm pretty sure it's like 20,000 that we have left we can definitely get it paid off today I'm just decorations we still got all the time in the world and again I don't even have to time travel time traveling is a luxury that I've been provided it's not a necessity so what I'm thinking, I've got a couple of DIYs I still need to make and I'm hoping to just use a bunch of our materials that we've got because there's no point in me like cutting down trees when I don't need the materials. I'm thinking in here, cute little dining space. I don't know how far over we'll make it. Probably not too far over. Anyway, cute little dining space here. Definitely want to have a campfire and like some clotheslines and stuff. We might even bring this cliff over a little bit that way and close it up around the back end here. And then obviously I've got to do something with all of those flowers. This is definitely going to be a back and forth of selling some of these flowers and just decorating. But let's let's just start placing some stuff down and getting the general gist of it. These vines are literally everything. I love them so much. Okay, for one last tree, we're going to dig up this one here. I kind of like this tree's placement. I think it would be nice to have sort of as the back end side of the table. So here's what I'm thinking. Log bench there. There we go. Dining table there. Bring this over a little bit. And then the other log bench just here. I've given placemats for them. I think that that's super cute. And now that we can start cooking, we can finally get some like food items up here. I do have one food item in my inventory. So I'm just going to place that there. That's kind of cute, right? I'm thinking maybe like a tiki torch here or something. I don't think a tree would fit in there. I mean, let's try. Because like a tree would look super cool here. No, it won't. Well, you know, I tried. I tried. If we can bring this side in, I'd love to get like this clothesline in here. Oh, it kind of fits there. Do I like it though? It's not bad, but I definitely feel like there needs to be space around the other side. We definitely got our work cut out for this one. And this will be our first time doing some cliff construction. Like I'm just thinking like there. Putting this one in here just to round it off. And then I'll probably only bring it that far back. I don't know. I don't really need to bring it further back, do I? Ultimately, we won't see the back, but it is the plan to have like a nice little water feature and just connect the two. But I do need to get rid of all of these flowers. I want to keep them just to be safe. The roses can go. The roses aren't the vibe for this island. <laughs> I definitely think getting a cute little flower field up here as well is definitely going to be the vibe. Might actually make it one wider. And then just for my sanity, I am going to hang a cliff vine thingy there. Just so that I know. I already think this just looks so much better than it was before. It wasn't bad before, but I just think having these two cliffs close just makes this really cool like indented area in a sense. Actually, hear me out. Hear me out. Oh my god, that's so cute. And something's got to go there. I'm going to see what the flower looks like, but... But I feel like a stone something would go here so nicely. That's definitely not bad. No, I like that. I like that. No, you know what? You know what? I'm going to stick with my gut. I'm going to grab this little stone seat that we've already got out for when we had to do all the plots. And I think putting the little wash tub basin on top of that would be really cool. Let's have a little like outback washing area. But then that way it's sort of like out of the way in a sense. And then we don't really have to bring this cliff in. I'm okay with putting cliffs up. Taking cliffs away I'm not so good at. But I might just a little. I don't know, I don't like how straight this is. 
that's already so much better. And then we plant a tree there. She's got the decorating Jane in her. Okay, just for my sanity, I'm just gonna go and place the items that I want for this cafe space over near this cafe space. It's just gonna fill up my pockets and it's just gonna make it so much easier. Okay, it's definitely time to go and make some more items for this area. Th this campsite is getting done today. Whether we all like it or not, it's getting done today, that's for sure. It already just looks so much better. I don't even think it needs a water feature. Maybe even just like a little water feature here. The amount of rose flowers that will be sold today. Okay, let's have a quick look at some of the items I want to make for this space up here. So I definitely want this wash tub to go on top of this stone thing. And I can just whack something apparently. I can totally just make this stone thing too. It's not the end of the world if I make an additional one. See, like I just think that would look so cool with something on top. I also really want to make this well. I think that would look super cool up there. So we need to grab some tree branches, wood, hardwood, iron nuggets, softwood, and stone and clay. I don't think I said that. Let's grab some of everything pretty much. Okay, now with all of our brand new things, let's go and place them down and keep decorating this place. I'm thinking the well will go really nice right here. I think definitely more in the corner here. I'm just gonna pop that on there. That is going to annoy me. All just to get it facing the right way. <laughs> There we go. Okay, now let's see this vision for this stone stool and wash tub. Oh yeah, that's so cute. Oh yeah, I love that. That's it. That's it. And then I think just to keep it out of the way, I'm going to place one tiki torch here. We will light it. And then the second one I might even just place like right at the front here. Yeah. Now what else have I got? I've got our DIY workbench. That is also something I want to place in a decent spot. Maybe, maybe it will just look nice right here. I'm going to put it a little to the side. You know what? I like it. It's not super in the way. It's kind of just there. It's not too bad. I'm going to place a flower over here. And then I'd love to do a couple of like decorative weeds. They only look good when they're like at that first stage. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. I am really liking how this little place is coming along though. I think it looks really cute. I think it would be nice as well maybe to... I'm gonna pop some of this flower path down but maybe even to have a little rug somewhere. Maybe even like off to the side over here. And then I definitely want like the dirt path sort of to come through in up here. God I really just need to finish this dirt path I think. You know what? I think we're gonna just finish it. Let's adjust them. Let's do it. It's happening. This is gonna take me so long. Okay, so I finally finished the dirt path. I'm loving how it's like turned out. I think it looks really cool. I like that the edges are so jaggedy in a better term. I did make two centerpieces. So I've got the one there with this like super big hole and then I've got this one that's like a little bit more casual just so you can mix and match. But now I guess that we've got this dirt path, I want to try and do this little dirt path idea that I had going up to here so that we can kind of do some more decorations on this area. So yet again, this is just going to be me decorating. I'm just going to chill out. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool all put together. Yo, I made a path. I made a custom path. It looks so cool. I can't believe I'm saying this, but yo, that's a dirt path right there. That looks so cool. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, let's plant a couple more weeds around. I really like some different variations of flowers. I really want some hyacinths. I gotta figure out again how to like grow everything. I'm thinking of cutting down this tree to keep it as a little stool and then maybe adding in a little picnic area here and then we can do some more sort of dirt walkway through here. Let's, let's attempt that and see how it looks. Firstly, let me get this balloon that's going across. I actually don't think space-wise this is gonna work out, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well plan B. Maybe we even just do it here and then we can make this a pathway here instead. Got some socks there, that's kind of cute. That's so cute right there. Oh, I think this looks awesome. Okay, and then we'll place one of these cushions just down here. A lot of like different colors, but they all kind of work together. I wouldn't mind getting a book down here, but I'm in no rush. Overall, I think that this is looking super, super cute. I'm actually in love with how this campsite has turned out. I think this will be pretty much it for the campsite. I'd like to get some other decoration bits and some more so like some other pathing and everything. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the things that I don't need in my inventory 
inventory. I'm going to place the trees just somewhere because as of right now, I don't want to get rid of them, but I definitely don't need them here. I just solely want to keep hold of them just in case if I need them because I do want to finish paying off um, Katrina's and I do want to go into our cabin island before we even think of ending this episode in particular. Okay, I'm pretty sure I only need 20,000, so hopefully that is enough. If I need more, I just hope I don't need more. I'm just going to shake this tree as a precaution. <laughs> okay, first actual non-decorating mission of the day. Let's head on over to the airport. Airport? I'm not going to the airport. Okay, Harp, I'm coming on in. You have no idea how exciting it's going to be to finally get Katrina in here. I know this is like, I think this is day nine. I don't actually remember. No, this is day nine. Day nine. But like, we're almost in February. There's been so many days where I haven't been able to do the fortune telling. Oh, I have enough. Let's go. And so it's going to be so nice to be able to like be able to add this and like actually have this as part of our task. Yay, it's finally paid off. This feels so weird. Okay, so that'll be open from tomorrow and hopefully we'll be able to start getting Leaf on over here. I want to eventually pay all of them, but Leaf is definitely our next big goal. And then on adventure number two for the day, let's go to see our sweet, sweet music man, Cap'n. I wonder, that's our second. Oh my God. <laughs> It's happening. We just had a thought bubble literally at the start of this day. I was not prepared for a second one, but this is an actual thought bubble. What do you think? You have to go. So now that Tammy's asked to leave first, this just secures the fact that Dom can't leave until we get his photo. So Dom is here to stay. Even if he has a thought bubble, we have to make sure that he gets a photo. Dem's the rules. I don't make them. I just follow them. We have to, if they want to leave, they have to leave. I was prepared for a cap and adventure. I was not prepared for a goodbye adventure. Well, bestie, stay hydrated. It's been a blast living on Kailano. No regrets, rocking memories. Oh, Tammy. Hang out with you. Keep the others in line. All right. For you, anything. Absolutely anything. Oh, that's... I wasn't really ready for that just yet. Okay, well, that's, that's that, I guess. Let's go. I'm just trying to, like, not think too much on it because then I'll get really sad. Okay, so here we are. Another island. Some lilies. But yet again, no crops. I need crops. That's okay. We will yet again loot the island just so we can get some money from some things. And also, these are my favorite kind of shrubs. So I definitely want to get as many as we can. I think these will be the first thing I fill my inventory with. Everything else is second best to this. Okay, we have successfully uprooted this entire island. We've hit all the rocks and everything. And because we have inventory space, I'm going to grab these seashells too, just for that extra bit of dollar dollar, you know? I also totally forgot that I had bushes. So I am going to go plant some around that campsite area. And I think it'll start to look really cool. So let's head on back home and see what we can do from here. I think I'm going to leave the villager hunting to tomorrow's video. Okay, we do need to start getting back onto that money grind as well because we are pretty low on bells. All that I have is what is in my, well, obviously on my trees as well, but I have 1,341. That's it. That's all I got. So I'm just going to pick up these shells so we can sell them. And I do have obviously like the fruit and stuff, everything in my inventory to sell. If we see a money tree, we shake that bad boy. I do know I have one that I can plant and I do know where to plant it to. I just saw Tammy and now I'm just reminded about how sad I am because she's leaving. It's a very inconvenient place for a money tree. Is that even going to grow? Surely it does. But let's go and plant some of these little shrub bush things over here and see how they look. I'm sure they will fit in perfectly fine. They just look so nice. I definitely think that these have really just helped to tie it all together. It was the missing element as well as some like extra path, but you know, we got to wait for those. I think I might even bring this side of this path down to here and like stop it here and then redo another one through here maybe move some trees around and stuff but ultimately without like extra path decorations i think this is our campsite fully done well i do think what we're gonna do is i'm gonna leave the episode here of course there's some other things i'd like to do sort of offline per se and we do need to start getting ready to do a villager hunt but i am gonna leave this one here i don't really think i've got more decorating power in me today i definitely want to work on some codes in the next couple of days and just do some more general decorating i'm like really pleased with how it's looking so far maybe we'll jump on in to the uh, entryway soon but that is gonna be us for this one if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel it's totally free and it really means a lot and you get to get notified for when i upload tomorrow's part of this video but anyway on that note i will see all of you guys tomorrow bye everybody mm -hmm.